All right, hi everyone. I'm Justin, this is Valley Hockey Talk. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down a trade between the Ottawa Senators and the New York Rangers. But first, I wanna thank everyone for watching and remind everyone to please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. All right, so the Ottawa Senators have traded Nick Ebert and a fourth round pick in 2021 to the New York Rangers for Vladislav Nemesnikov. So Nemesnikov uh, has always been a pretty decent player in the league. Uh, he's a bit of a veteran player now. He's 26 years old. He's a former first round pick, um, but he just hasn't really turned out into the player that everybody thought he could be. Um, and he played really well with Tampa a couple of years ago, but last year he struggled a little bit. Uh, and then Nick Ebert, I'm going to talk a little bit about him. He's kind of a journeyman, never really, never played in the NHL before. And then the pick um, is a fourth round pick. So the Rangers are just stockpiling uh, to their vast collection of picks. So anyways, uh, a lot of people might think that this isn't a big deal, and it's not like a huge trade or anything. It's not like the Justin Falk trade. But Nemesnikov is a decent player, um, and there should be other impl um, implications to these teams based on this trade. Um, and I'm going to get into those in a sec here. So Nemesnikov, like I said, is 26. He's a former first-round pick. So last year he had 31 points in 78 games uh, and 11 goals. He played mostly on the third line with the Rangers, didn't play with great teammates, didn't put up great numbers. People expected more from him when the Rangers traded for him from Tampa Bay. Uh, the previous year when he played for Tampa Bay for most of the year, he split a little bit with the Rangers when he got traded. He had 48 points in 81 games, 22 goals. So that's a little bit more what the Senators are probably looking for. Uh, we'll see if that can happen. Obviously, he was playing with really skilled players in Tampa Bay. Uh, he played a lot with Stamkos and Kucherov. So, I mean, you could probably put anybody with those two guys and they could get, you know, quite a few goals. Uh, but we'll see what happens. He's got the skill. Uh, he's um, and he plays center, so but he can also play the wing, so he's got some versatility there. But th that's the important part is that for one, that he's a UFA, so his contract is up at the end of this year. Um, so the Senators can certainly flip him at the trade deadline to get some sort of pick or asset, um, especially if he plays well, or they could resign him. Or it also might mean that since Ottawa has so many centers on the team already, so they already have Colin White, uh, Pajo, and Isimov, and uh, Tierney on the like just right now that's their four centers right you had Nemestikov that's five centers and then they have a kid in Logan Brown who's been trying to crack the lineup for the last couple of years but hasn't had the chance because the uh, center ice position is so jammed up and recently uh, Logan Brown's agent said that he's not very happy with the Senators right now because he feels like they're not getting them a chance and for the Senators to bring in another centerman really is going to limit that chance even further um, so this rumors and speculation out there is that the Senators might be looking to shop one of these centers, maybe Tierney or Pajot, whose contracts are both up this year as well. Um, and it looks like, you know, with the Penguins, with Malkin going down and Bukestad going down, they're certainly in the market for a center. Uh, so we'll see if anything transpires there with the trade uh, of the centerman. But don't be surprised if Ottawa makes another deal based on this trade for Nemesnikov. Like I said, Nemesnikov can play the wing, so maybe it doesn't mean anything, but 